Welcome back to Insight. We're outside Indiana Physical Therapy with uh, some tips here. Uh, ben is joining us to uh, maybe keep somebody from ever having to see you guys, yeah, right? Yeah, hopefully try to prevent some uh, back issues, low back pain, so you don't have to come in and see us. It's gonna be that time of year where we're doing fall landscape cleanups and the dreaded snow's coming. Right. Yeah, so we wanna go over um, a few techniques, maybe how to use shovel today, All right. help prevent some of those back issues. Well, I'm uh, prepared to uh, work on the <laughs> estate in my uh, in my suit and tie. So what are we, what's, uh, what's like a good tip? Yeah, so let's uh, start by uh, using the shovel here. All right. Um, so one of the things that we wanna do, oh, let you take the shovel Thanks. here is we want to make sure that we don't bend over at our back right, when we're doing my, these. Right, my, yeah. my gut is, you know, mm -hmm. says to do that. Of course, especially on these cool days and we're not warmed up, we can get those low back strains. So um, we want to step close to the items that we're going to be lifting yep. and we want to bend down, keep our back straight, but bend down at our knees ah. as we scoop in. Good. And make sure we keep the weight or the load as close to the body as we can. Oh, okay. You know what? I, yeah, it. you're right. I can yeah, feel Yeah, you don't want the weight out. Uh, we put more strain on the back that mm -hmm. way. So keep the weight towards you, um, and then we'll rotate as we move and going into your wheelbarrow or your car, wherever you may be taking it. I just like so. the sound. It sounded like I worked. <laughs> yeah. So, but there was a big difference between out here and here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and exactly the same thing when it comes to uh, snow clean up in your driveway. It's usually, you know, 5.30 in the morning, we're rushing, trying to get out the driveway, get to work on time. Um, same thing, we have those uh, heavy loads of snow on right. our shovel. We want to bend at our waist here, keep the back straight when we're lifting that up. So we can. Do you guys look injuries. at a snowfall or a good a good fall day where you know people are going to be outside working? Same way like ins car insurance guys do, where it's like, oh, we're going to be busy on Monday. Well, we'd like to give people information to present prevent these issues <laughs> right. instead of seeing them always in the clinic. But yeah, um, some other things too before we start a quick warm up exercise or two just to get some blood circulating, especially in the mornings mm -hmm. when you're going out to the driveway to shovel that snow. Okay. Um, a lot of times too. Uh, Pick the right shovel size. You don't need the biggest, you know, snow shovel you can get. We just add more weight when we're scooping that shovel. So maybe a little smaller shovel sometimes will be better. Is there like what's a good warm-up exercise for that? I mean, it's, I don't know what I. Yeah, I mean, just any kind of even walking around, moving a little bit, right. cause especially in the mornings if we are shoveling that snow, it seems like you know the alarm goes off, we jump right out of bed. Right, because um, we've leave, right left, left no extra yeah, time, yeah. so we yeah. gotta get to work on time. But even if we can take just a few minutes, uh, you know, walk around a little bit, get warmed up a little bit even like some body weight squats or mm -hmm. simple movements like that to get some blood flow and help prevent some of those issues. All right. Uh, is there is there advice for clothing? Does that affect what my range of motion or anything yeah, like well, that? Yeah, well, obviously we want to stay warm first right. and foremost, but yeah, any kind of flexible clothing would be great just so you know nothing's too tight or too bulky to where we can't bend down right. the way we need to to okay. get the job done. So um, moving on, another thing, obviously we all have our pots and our planners yep. throughout the yep. summer. It's time of year to clean those up, get those in the storage. And as you know, a lot of these can be pretty heavy, especially these ceramic pots. So uh, we want to think about how we're lifting these. So when we come over to, uh, you know, pick these up, carry them around, yep. we want to get close to the pot. So I'll have you step up, kind of uh, get your feet a little wider and shorter width apart okay. so we're nice and stable. Yep. And again, we want to bend down with the legs and keep the back nice and flat as we go down. I feel I've, ne up. I've so, never yeah. felt more self-conscious <laughs> about lifting something. And Just like that? Yeah. yeah, and again, you know, if especially if it's heavy, you want to keep it close to our center of gravity. Yeah, right. Yeah, again, so we're not getting out of the way. A world of difference. Us, so, yeah. All right, so if somebody does all this wrong, uh, <laughs> the uh, best way to uh, get in, in contact with you guys is how? Yeah, they can go to our website at indianapt.com. Um, it'll have a list of all our locations and phone numbers, and they can get in contact with us, and uh, hopefully we can get them in that same day and get them treated so we can uh, get you better. There you go, and you don't even need an appointment. indianapt.com. We'll be right back on Insight.